my dad, when he came back from World War II, uh, was not able to, I ran into a box of letters when he passed away, all these rejection letters of schools that he had tried to get his postgraduate degree. But because of living in Texas, where he had Jim Crow, I couldn't do it there. And many colleges across the country also were uh, rejecting him. It was all because of his color. The thing about that generation, and that generation across the board, not just Black Americans, but Italian Americans and Jewish Americans, the idea very simply, you, you told those folks in that time that they couldn't, they're gonna, they're gonna make sure that, that uh, they showed you they could. And so my dad continued the process until he got to Ohio State, where he got his PhD in, in agronomy. His older brother got his PhD in, in economics. Uh, they both were college professors for, for, for decades. Uh, uh, University of Houston for my uncle, my dad at Florida A&M. <coughs> uh, and at this, again, at the same time, they were teaching their kids because they controlled the environment. There was a time in which parents and teachers were very close, they were collaborating. The goal was to make sure that each one of these kids were growing through this process and each community was respected for the product that they gave out. They wanted to make sure that we as, as kids could leave that community and go out and compete anywhere. So I was able to leave Tallahassee and go to the University of Miami and get a degree in biology. 